Welcome to our podcast, where we explore fascinating stories and ideas from various fields. In this episode, we uncover a stark warning that freshwater scarcity could endanger global food production much sooner than expected, making water conservation more critical than ever. Every day, more than 1,000 children under five are dying from unsafe water and poor sanitation. Women and girls are spending 200 million hours collecting water. Food production across half the world could fail in the next 25 years due to this water crisis. These are among some of the stark findings of a major report on the global water availability situation, which noted that the hydrological cycle of the world has been disrupted for the first time in human history. By 2030, Demand for fresh water will outstrip supply by 40%, said the Global Commission on the Economics of Water in the report. Decades of collective mismanagement and undervaluation of water around the world have damaged our freshwater and land ecosystems and allowed for the continuing contamination of water resources. Food systems are running out of fresh water and cities are sinking as the aquifers underneath them run dry, said the report. Besides food security, the water crisis will hit economic growth and climate stability, said the report, urging collective action to restore the world's water cycle. Freshwater systems have been severely damaged due to poor management, it said, adding that water contamination is widespread across the world. As aquifers deplete and food systems lack fresh water, global agriculture is being strained. Subsidized offered by governments to agriculture worth billions of dollars is exacerbating this problem. The degradation of freshwater ecosystems will worsen climate change, leading to more frequent droughts, floods, heat waves, and wildfires, warned the report. What could make the situation worse is the fact that more than half of the world's food production and some 3 billion people are in areas projected to see declining water resources. We have to think radically about how we are going to preserve the sources of fresh water, how we are going to use it far more efficiently, and how we are going to be able to have access to fresh water available to every community, including the vulnerable, said Singapore President Tharman Shanmugaratnam, who also co-chairs the commission. Thanks for tuning into this incredible story. If this episode resonated with you, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more captivating stories to come. Stay tuned.